Hey everybody, how's it going? Alec and Stuff here, coming to you live with another Pokemon Go video. I know, two in one day, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but um, shortly after the trailer that you're seeing right now uh, got posted, a press conference discussing the whole strategy behind this new game uh, was hosted by Pokemon themselves in Japan. It was just hours ago, just as the trailer was, and they revealed some additional details and stuff that the trailer didn't tell us. Um, the trailer didn't tell us much to begin with, but we're going to go over some of the details that were in that press conference. So, uh, first off, the trailer uh, showcased that this is a game, a virtual rea like almost a virtual reality game, but it's more of an AR game, which is, you know, uh, I forget the word, but it's 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 not virtual reality. But I assume you're going to be looking through your phone to see the reality that they want you to see. So, um, it's an AR game. Uh, it's coming to Apple, iPhone, and Android devices, and it's going to be free to play, but also offers in-app purchases. So, um, some of the details that were discussed during the press conference, number one, was the new project is in conjunction with Nintendo. Um, I, th I thought that was pretty much assumed, but, you know, I guess they just had to clarify for people that thought otherwise. Um, it utilizes smartphones and seems to feature capturing and battling a Pokemon. You know, that was pretty obvious from the trailer. The project is called Pokemon Go, will be released on an iOS and Android devices in 2016 in collaboration with Niantic, a startup from Google that became independent. So that's pretty interesting that it was a startup project that originated in Google. Um, hopefully that adds some sort of, you know, credibility behind the project and, you know, hopefully it won't be as awful as the Google Maps uh, mini project that was... Uh, pretty recent. I can't remember how. I can't remember when that was. But moving on, um, go around and use the augmented reality to find various Pokemon in various areas. Meet up for various small fests for battling and so forth. I think that was sort of showcased in the trailer with the whole Mewtwo thing. Everyone meeting up in Times Square to battle against one, uh, to just to just engage in one giant battle with Mewtwo. Um, I think that has a lot of potential. You know, showing the like getting a small community together and bringing people together like that, I think it has, I think it has some some potential. It has some, it has. It, that's what I'm trying to say. It just it has potential. <laughs> um, next up is Junichi Masuda is assisting in creating locations, music, and so forth. He has a lot of history with the Pokemon franchise, and I think it's really cool to see that he's backing it up here in the mobile space. Um, Pokemon Go will link to the main games in some way. Uh, if you were asking me and what my thoughts on that would be, it would probably be like you catch Pokemon and we're able to transfer them to the upcoming, uh, as of now, unannounced Pokemon games in some way. Um, also, Pokemon Go comes with a device that you can attach to your wrist. It's called Pokemon Go Plus, which connects via Bluetooth and notifies the player of any nearby, nearby Pokemon. I think this is pretty cool. Um, the little wristband was shown just for a couple seconds in the trailer and um, uh, what we know so far about that is it uh, it's basically a wristband and it's got a little pokeball symbol and it looks like a pinpoint that you would drop on like a like a GPS map or something similar but it operates in low battery Bluetooth mode and it connects with your phone and as I said you know it uh, notifies the player of any nearby Pokemon and that is about all we know about it so far um, not too many details but some of the details that we do have are pretty interesting and have th this has a lot of potential i'm not really sure about my thoughts on it at the moment but if it ends up being good it'll be a good step in the right direction for bringing pokemon to the general public once again it as of now it's kind of less popular than it used to be back in the 90s when it first released but hopefully something like this will boost it back into relevance is what i'm trying to say but yes, anyways, that is all we know about Pokemon Go so far. That is all the details that we heard from the press conference that was hosted just hours after this trailer was posted, and just hours ago from now. And as always, I am Alec and Stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Be offering a season pass that will get you all the Fallout 4 DLC we ever do for just thirty dollars. Since we're still hard at work on the game, we don't know what the actual DLC will be yet, but it. Oh my god. <laughs> Starting like an apocalypse.